Hey folks, we're going to be doing a ham, my ham setup video on the ICOM 8710. It's a folded dipole antenna. It's good to up to 150 watts and it'll do 10 to 160 meters. And it'll tune up on my San 300, my IC-7300 on every band except for six. Um, Okay, and I'll show you a little bit about it. All right, I'll show you my setup. But yeah, it does great on all bands. I had the Buckmaster, and I still do. The Buckmaster is inside his box um, with the coax and all that good stuff folded up nice and neat. Um, yeah, my Buckmaster. Uh, Y'all can see it down there. Yeah, there it is right there. Uh, see, there it is right there all right well I wasn't able to get 15 meter in this time of year I mean um, since about May um, it's June 25th and I hadn't been able to get 15 meters like what the heck and I kind of wanted to get in 160 also so I was like well, I'm gonna get this antenna to try all right, well, I'm going to go show you my setup. Y'all remember how my uh, my Buckmasters, I'm not taking away anything away from the Buckmaster because that's a good, I made a lot of contact with that. Um, but yeah, let's go out here and see what I got um, as far as the setup. All right, excuse the mess. I got plenty of it. This right here is, well, uh, the folded dipole antenna is, let's see, here's, there it is right there. That's the, and they got the little fiberglass poles in the center. I got, I got, that is a parachute cord um, to help me uh, keep it upright. Because I didn't have quite enough room, but I made it work. Y'all know hammers, how they will make things work. Um, but yeah, uh, Got my other half right up here. And it's got some half on um, clove hitch and half hitches on there and it's pulled up. Pretty good. And it goes here. Down here. And it's four it's 80 feet long, 40 feet in each direction. Alright, let me give you some better look look at looks at it. But yeah, I just want to give a shout out to ICOM again. I mean, uh, it's a beast of an antenna. And I hit a straight the other night with it. Bands are really good. That was on 20 meter. I'm at 18, I think. I might have been 18. But yeah, I mean, as far as the whole setup, excuse the sun there. Don't want to blind you. Let me get a better. Let me get away from the sun, okay? All right, folks, we're going to try to get the best picture we can of it. Here it is up in the. Uh, going from the ballast or the bottom. Excuse me, bottom. And it's going up, up, and I come straight across to here. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, whew. and I got those DX engineering 46 foot poles um, to help me get it off the ground where I needed it to be. Yep, but there she is. Let me give you another clip from the road of it. Okay, this is from a driveway right here not the prettiest thing you ever seen this side has got a little dip in it this side straight uh, who knows i make i mean it's going east north and south because i got those that one pole is going straight through north and that one excuse me excuse me that one's going east and that one's going to do um west and that's broadside to antenna so i'm shooting north and a south um beam 
I mean directional, directional, 90 degree off the dipole, broadside dipole and come, you know, going north and south over the poles. But give you a little, you can see it up there, the little white, those are the spreaders in between each of the uh, wires and it loops around and comes right back through the insulator is right there that's the insulator just like almost like a single folded dipole i mean excuse me a single off center fed dipole but just uh more wire um this has a 135 foot of wild this is actually 160 feet of wire and there's the other side uh there's my other spreader well sorry about that there's my other spreader there over there and my insulator and there's my other spreader right there and there's my other one right mm -hmm. there yeah, right there excuse me it's not but not but one on the end one in the middle and one right there i mean i want each side so yeah all right well That is good to go. All right, let me uh, get you some more clips. Okay, y'all, here it is again. This is the AH Alpha Hotel 710 folded dipole antenna. And then the other side goes down to the other pole right there. Y'all can see it sticking up. Where's the other, other antenna goes? For example, that's overhead. And there we go along. And there she is, the, the ballon. And where the coax hooks onto the bottom of that. Then it goes straight to the other pole. And I got strange trying to pull it upright, which I really don't think it makes a difference, but I do. But anyhow, there she is. All right, I'm going inside and close this video up. I'm talking about a lot of work, but she's get she's getting me where I want to be, and it tunes up on my IC7300 on every band. I mean, except for six. I mean, as far as uh, HF. Um, and I'm a, I'm still a newbie. I'm still learning. I'm still learning, but yeah, those pole M40, the DX engineering poles really get it up in the air. I put links below on my video on that too. But anyway, this the antenna weighs 6.8 pounds, but that's including coax. I use my own coax, mm -hmm. which I got the uh, big uh, Belden cable. Uh, it came with rope. 100 foot of coax or 98 feet of coax but y'all it's just a one great antenna all right well y'all it's hot blazing hot there it's about a hundred degree heat index wow i mean it's hot but yeah thank you for checking out my video with the ah Alpha Hotel 710 ICOM folded dipole antenna. And y'all, I tune up on it right now, but I got everything disconnected because we got thunderstorms. But I'm, I'm serious. I get 10 all the way to 160 on all the usable bands for the US. Uh, 10, 12, 15, 17, or size 18. Uh, 20, 40, uh, 80, and 160. So that's kicking, it's kicking some butt. But y'all, y'all, hey, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, please subscribe. God bless the Semper Fi. Hey, y'all have a good one and Semper Fi. This is KU.
for SMC 73. Y'all have a good one. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, I got to sleep. Y'all have a good one, y'all. Thanks for watching.